Hello and welcome, I am Scrapperlock, and we are back on City of Heroes on the Everlasting server, which is one of the private bootleg servers that are being run by the Homecoming group. And once again we have a different character, this is our tanker, Liberty Lass, who is a super reef, uh, oh gosh, I'm so used to saying it, is a super strength and invulnerability tanker. I've changed her origin a little bit, um, I decided it was too close to Silver Phoenix, Silver Phoenix was chosen by basically a Chinese uh, spirit to be an avatar of her country. I didn't want Liberty Lass to be the same. I've gone back to the original origin for Liberty Lass. So the origin of this character is that her grandfather was a, a Cold War hero named Liberty Man, and he taught her the secret power that literally every American, every person could have, and that is the power of the Declaration of Independence. It says that our rights are unalienable. Now what that word means, most people think it means they can't be taken away, but it doesn't mean that. It means that they're so integral to us that they couldn't even be given up even if we didn't want them. That's what that word meant back in the day because it was um, property in England was considered unalienable if your family, say, owned it and it couldn't be taken by the crown and you couldn't sell it. It was like an heirloom or whatever and it was just integral to your family. And so that's what an alienable means. And so the idea of Liberty Less is if you truly believe that, that no one, even you, has the power to give, get rid of your rights, then let, if you have the right to life and somebody shoots you, well, they don't have the right to kill you, so the bullet just bounces off. Now, the, the idea of Liberty Less is her superpower isn't her strength or her flight or her invulnerability, but that superhuman belief that that's true. As long as she holds that belief, she is super strong and invulnerable and she can fly because even gravity can't prevent her from being um, free to do what she wants, to move where she wants, to go where she wants. So that's the concept of the character. <clears throat> and uh, it's a concept I played with, uh, played with her on as um, in the original City of Heroes when I created a webcomic about her, I decided that that power was just too hard to to deal with, to write. And so I gave her more of a, the type of origin of Silver Phoenix, which is that uh, sort of a higher power that embodies the spirit of 1776 gave her powers, that she earned them, essentially. Um, I also didn't want her to be to be inheriting a power as an, like a patriotic character because... Uh, one of the things that that's different about the U.S. or was different about the U.S. when it was formed is that you don't inherit things so much as you just have them, right? You know, you you don't inherit the right to vote. Everyone has them. You don't get it from a parent. And so, um, anyway, that's the new concept, and I'm going to be posting that to my supergroups Discord. And in the meantime, Liberty Labs, you can see, is quite short. Uh, we'll be talking to the security chief. And so he says, we've got some problems in Atlas Park, and I need you to fi feed five Hellions, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, Liberty Lass is only 16, so she's a kid. And I've always liked the idea of having this tanker who can stand and take, like, more punishment than anybody else, but is basically just a little, like a skinny little girl. And she looks like the weakest person on the team, and she's actually the strongest, and I kind of like that idea. Anyway, let's start punching Hellions. We're tanker, so we basically don't have to worry about anything in terms of incoming damage. They shouldn't be able to do much to us. Um, we have now 159 health already at level 4. And um, our health will be going up dramatically compared to anyone else. And then when we hit Dull Pain, we look at the info on Dull Pain, it... <coughs> will add 31 hit points. Not only will it um, heal us 63 hit points, but it'll also give us um, an extra 31 hit points that ignores buffs and enhancements and 31 that doesn't. So basically what's going to happen is as we put heal enhancers on there, it's going to enhance part of it. So we'll heal 62 points, but we'll only get like... Um, 91 max points instead of 120 if we do heal enhancements, that kind of thing. So you'll see how that works as we put the enhancers on it. That's going to take a while. Bell Pain's going to be one of the first powers we make sure we, we get good slotting on because by level 22 we're going to want that 6 slotted. It's going to be recharge enhancers and um, 
Heal enhancers, my guess is three and three. Oh look, a lieutenant. Yeah, the thing is I haven't it's been a long time since I've used Dull Pain. Um, so um not a hundred percent sure how I'm gonna enhance it. I may make some changes as we go. We'll see. I'm quite sure I'm gonna be six slotting all of the attacks. We're gonna get the attacks more slowly than we do with the scrapper. So compared to if you've watched the um, Silver Phoenix videos, uh, compared to the scrapper, didn't I just free you from somebody? You should be thanking me. Um, compared to the um, compared to the scrapper, we're gonna have a much easier time six slotting her attacks because she's gonna get them more slowly, right? The scrapper has so many attacks that I can't six slot everything fast enough. The Scrapper also has a lot of defenses that need to be multiple slotted. This one's also going to have that. So we're going to have a harder time getting her defenses six sl finished slotting, right? And an easier time getting her attacks finished slotting. Oh, I have the phone on this person, so let's call her. And she's got another available mission. And this says, there's something I'd like you to take care of. The Skulls of King's Row are planning to spread Superior Dean to Atlas Park. We want you to defeat the skulls and confiscate the Spurdy. So these are all, unfortunately, these are all missions that we've seen before because this is the same origin as my other character, Natural. And so this contact is giving us all the same, um, all the same um, uh, missions, but we will get other contacts and other missions as we go. And the other thing I need to do, as I keep remembering as I go past here, is go into Icon and make some alternate costumes for this character before she hits level 10. So maybe I'll do that after this episode. But first, we've got to go in here and defeat all the skulls. And that's that spinning door again, which I really kind of like. That's a new. They didn't used to have that back in the day. Again, when I say it's new, I don't necessarily mean it's new like since the game died and they modded it. I mostly mean it's new compared to like how the game originally played when you, like the first year or two. Alright. Takes care of that. And one of the things we don't have to worry as much about aggro with a tanker as we get to the higher levels. Obviously right now she only has a few more hit points than anybody else and some resistance to the most common types of attacks. Um, so she's not really a tanker yet, but as time goes on and we start getting temporary invulnerability and we start getting some of the other things like invincibility, we'll be able to just wade into mobs. I mean, well, I think what I, sometimes what I used to do with this character, now she had fire, so she had more area effect attacks, but I would like run through the, you know, sections of a mission and gather up three or four spawns and get them around me and then I would start taking them out. And you can definitely do that as a tanker after you get your defenses in. But you got to get your defenses in first. Go ahead and hit the heal. So we've gotten one of the drug stashes. Let's go back over here because there's a side branch. I want to clean that out. Now this is slow, um, much more, much, it, you're going to see, especially as we get into the higher levels, this is way slower. If you do it spawn to spawn like this, it's way slower than um, a, a scrapper, right? Because as a tanker, they're meant to be on groups and holding aggro, not meant to be quickly churning through missions solo. But um, one of the things, okay, there's nothing over here. One of the things that you can do, as I said, is go from spawn to spawn and gather them up. And then once you start getting your area effect attacks and that sort of thing, you're able to handle a lot more. And we shouldn't have to take a knee and rest as much. And um, we're also going to be much more um, proof against the attacks. So uh, it will be, we won't have to. Um, worry about the possibility of getting, you know, wiped out on a mission is much less likely to get killed, right? Because you're a tanker, you have more defenses. Now that's later, you know, we're talking about once you get a 20th level plus. Early on, it's just going to be slower than a, than a scrapper, especially um, as the villains start getting more and more hit points. If we end up fighting the Vajlok, which we probably will, it will be much more difficult. Yellow spawns are going to be a pain just because they take so many more hits to take out. 
and our damage does not jump up the way a Scrapper's does. So it's going to take a while, and as I said in an earlier episode, um, one of the things that we're probably going to do is take the attacks earlier and bring the defenses in later just so that we can... Um, and we got our first salvage. So now I'm going to show you. Here's how Dull Pain works right now. We have 197 out of 159. We hit Dull Pain. Now we have 202 out of 227. So it, it healed us, but it also increased our maximum hit points. And that's why you want to put three heals on Dull Pain, because it'll really crank that up. All right, you're going to it'll basically almost double your hit points. I'm going the wrong way. Um, it'll basically almost double your hit points, which is really nice. And especially if you have like a healer on the team, then they, they can get you back up to the max. Now the dull pain lasts for two minutes. And it takes six minutes to recharge. So what you want to do is put three recharge enhancers, get it down to three minutes. And then it'll run for two minutes and, and then recharge in three. So basically... Your, your dull pain can be active two out of every three minutes on a mission, which is really nice. Right, so I got, I've got like an extra 50 or 60 hit points now for them to hit me. Now when it wears off, if your hit points are low, that's bad, so you got to be careful with that. Um, but that's really a lot of, uh, it's really a, a very effective power to use as a tank. If you hit it when, if you know the right time to hit it, it's very effective. Now, not everything has dull pain. I believe regeneration in the scrapper set had dull pain, and I think regeneration might exist on the tanker set now too. Um, but also, the other tankers have healing, like healing flames and stuff like that. So not everybody has dull pain, but most of them have something to mitigate damage, like that. Right to heal yourself, and dull pain is is pretty much generally considered the best one of those because it heals you and adds more max hit points. So then, if you're on a group, a healer can then crank you up. So yeah, I went to what was it, 202 out of 225, but then the healer could get you up the rest of the way, or you can heal yourself. One of those, right? Okay, that takes him out extra damage here. Take a heal. Alright, we're a tanker, but, you know, most of our defensive powers haven't come in yet. We don't really seem to need endurance, so I'm going to just burn that one. Heal again. I probably should be burning the Lux here, too because we don't need them as much with a tanker. We're going to really want more... As we get the dull pain slotted, we're going to want more heals to, again, take advantage of that extra boost so that we can be increasing our hit points above our max. Right? It ends up being something like a 33% add to your max, so when you're sitting there with, like, 800 hit points, you can crank it up to, like, 1,200. But it's not going to go all the way up. When you hit dull pain, you're going to want to hit it heal yourself up and then hit a heal to get you up to max. You can also, by the way, if you know it's going to be a tough battle, like when I when you get to an archvillain, you can hit dull pain before you take any damage, right? Instead of afterwards. And then that just gives you a much higher max, and it will be maxed out. Right? And then you have a much higher max hit points. But you have to be careful because it only lasts two minutes. So if the AV fight or the elite boss fight is going to last more than two minutes, which it may do if you're a soloing tanker, then you don't want to use dull pain at the beginning because you're going to run out of it just when you need it, right? It'll it'll fade just as you need it. This is the lieutenant. It takes quite a few blows to defeat them with a tanker because you don't have the kind of power that a scrapper has. But, there we go, and we're almost done with level 4. We'll exit. This might be the last mission from our contact, if so, we might have to just do one or two minions worth of street fighting before we um, get to level 5, and then we'll add a couple of slots to our powers. But let's call our contact. And yet,
yeah, she doesn't have any more missions. So, we just need to defeat a couple of minions or a lieutenant or two. So let's go beat these guys up. They're green cons, so it might take several of them to do. Let's see. We only got six experience from them. Let's see if we can find some white cons. We may need to head this way, and this area, the Argosy Industrial, is um, tends to have um, higher level spawns in it. So let's see if we can find some yellows or some whites. So that's a lieutenant. It's blue, but he should give us a decent amount of XP. Yeah, that knockdown is really nice. It's a good um, soft control. And there are several powers. Yep, one was enough there. Yeah, this should finish us. There are several powers in this tanker set, the super strength set, that do knock down or knock back. And we're level 5. Alright, I'm going to put on um, Sprint, and we'll head back to Miss Liberty. Ms. Liberty. Uh, who's nowhere near as patriotic looking as my character is. Just joking. Um, we'll go to Miss Liberty, and we will um, get her to train us up. And then we should be getting new contacts. Let's see. Nope. So I guess we'll get it when we train up to Ms. Liberty. Um, with Miss Liberty, I guess. So do I have enhancements? Oh, I do have a bunch. Let's go ahead and get the slots put in, and then I'll see if I want to use any of them. Probably not. Train up to a new level of power. Train up to the next level. We get two slots. I'm going to put one on Dull Pain and one on Punch. Again, I try to do even slotting. New contact, Twin Shot. Is she the only one? Oh. And now she will introduce me to a new contact, Vic Johansson, and he is in Kingshrow. Alright, and now let's see, in terms of enhancements, what do we need? We can rip this off because it's too low level. We don't need any of these, I don't think. I mean, I guess we can put rechargers on punch. Put it in the second slot because I'd like to put an accuracy or a damage on it in the first slot. Probably accuracy if I find one. At least we're recharging in 3.75 seconds. Alright, and we can sell the rest. Alright, so let's see... What Vic Johansson says, I'm ignoring Twin Shot right now because I'm doing her um, story arc with a different character. Um, character named Comet Flare, who is a corruptor, which I will also probably post. Um, but the thing with Twin Shot is that storyline is having you kind of like join an NPC superhero team. And Liberty Lass is intended to be um, my alternate character on the United once I make my post to their um, application form and so on. And so I uh, I don't really need her to join Twin Shot's team. So let's go ahead and go to King's Row. And um, we will talk to Vic Johansson. Penumbra Dancer, that's an interesting name. Cool looking costume. Oh, I was trying to look and see the details of the costume, but zoned out. Alright, so um, let's go to Vic, and he's probably going to have us... Oh, and there's Shauna Stockwell, who I'm not sure will talk to us yet. I think we have to be level 6 to talk to her. Let's see. Yep, so she has a store, but she doesn't have any missions for us yet, but she will. And there's also Detective Bectris, Te Bectris who can give us radio missions. Let's talk to Vic Johansson. I gotta be careful in here. We're only fifth level, and everything in here is gonna be like level six and above. Look, there's a level nine. 
So we're gonna stay away from them. Architect Entertainment. So that's the um, Architect Missions. I'm gonna start maybe working on some of those too. Everything's like redcon to me. So let's see what Vic's gonna ask us to do. If he has us fighting lost, we could be in trouble because everything here is gonna be very high level to me. But let's see what he has to say. Available missions. We've seen a lot of violence from the lost in King's Row. I need you to go off to King's Row and stop the lost rampage or a homeless most people have gotten mil missing, um, find the missing people. So yeah, I've done this already with my other character. Um, and this is why people end up saying, okay, you know, this isn't a story arc, let's just do some detective missions, and I may do some of that too, but let's go ahead and find the missing people for right now. Oops, just got hit. Yeah, and clockworks are tough because I don't have any um, electricity defense yet. That doesn't come in until a much later level. So they basically... <coughs> hit me for 100% damage. All I have is the extra hit points. Um, and I think one of the things we're going to want to do is get flight right away. This character should have flight, so maybe at level 6 we'll go ahead and do that. So it's over there. Wow, purples. You've got to constantly be hitting tab when you're this low level. And you're running through a zone that everything's purple and red to you. Because otherwise you could stumble into something that's going to crush you. Alright, so here we go. We're going to escort missing people from the sewers. This, I think, is a lost mission. There are some lost. Got an enhancement. Look at this, my um my little th this little throwing knife does more damage than her jab. It does 14, her jab only does 10. Once it's enhanced, that won't be true. I'm going to be a little more liberal with the heals on this character than I am with my Scrapper, mainly because the um, <clears throat> we have dull pain in case we need it. Go ahead and pop a luck here because these guys are yellow and orange. Where is he? There we go. Now the luck isn't going to work as well for us as it does for the scrappers, for a reflex scrapper, because the um, it's only dropping them by 12%. It doesn't stack with our defenses right now. It will when we have invincibility, but right now, no. Our defenses are mostly resistance based, and luck is dodge based. Okay. So we gotta find the hostages and escort them out. In the future, um, I will definitely be targeting bosses and lieutenants first and just leave the minions, unlike a scrapper. Where the minions can chew you down again with once you have invincibility running with a character like this keeping a bunch of minions around you while you fight a boss is a good idea because they will increase your defense each one increases your defenses we just got stunned um, each one increases your defenses while um, they're next to you so like if you have say eight guys around you with invincibility you become almost unhittable and that is actually really good if you're fighting say a boss. Oh, I thought this was a way down but it's just a dead end. This is why I try to fill the map out because if you don't then you might think oh, I've got a little room in here, which is what I was thinking, and it's actually nothing. It's just a dead end. 
right? So go over here, you make sure that that little notch is visible so you know it's a dead end and that sort of thing. All right, so we've got some skulls here. Here's somebody. This is a patrol, so we'll start with him. You want to be like us, hero? No, I don't want to be like you. I want to stop you. Yeah, one of the things, as I pointed out, um, one of the things that you want to um, do, especially in the low levels, is go ahead and liberally use your inspirations. More will keep coming. So you don't really have to worry about trying to save them. Now, the one you want might not come, but that's why I always like try to keep if I don't have the ones I want, I always try to keep a socket or two open so that, you know, and then if I get into this socket one I don't want, like say another accuracy, I'll just click it immediately and get it out of there. Alright, now this might be a good spot to use Del Pain if we start taking a lot of damage because there are several spawns um, right near us. And I really need to escort this guy out. Now this guy... Here we go, dull pain. Now he's going to have no tr no chance against me. Right, because instead of being able to do, say, a third of my hit points, he's only going to be able to do like a fifth of my hit points if he hits me. Right? i got to escort this guy out. So let's help him get out. And there's the ambush. One of the nice things about... I don't think these guys will actually attack him at this low level. But there are times when they will attack uh, one of the... Um, you see how, how little of the hit point bar the sword takes now because of dull pain? Um, so anyway, when they... Um, when you're escorting them out and they can hurt the guy, it's really awesome to be a tanker because you can just taunt. And they will ignore the little civilian and go after you. You just target one of them, hit taunt, they all go arg and they hate you and, and then they come after you. So, um, and you can see that they're taunted because there's like this little, um, kind of anger emote that they do, and you hear like a clanging sound, kind of, like, like, bang, like that, and that means they're taunted. And, um, I can't show you that yet, because, um, because my character doesn't have taunt, but of course as soon as we have the option, we're going to be grabbing that. That one probably doesn't need to be enhanced very much other than maybe for range. I don't think there's much else you can do to enhance it that's of any use. So now with him and these two, this is where we're going to say, well, gee, maybe we should have saved the dull pain because it's going to fade. And now it's gone, and we don't have the extra hit points. But we're alright, and we have some extra luck. I don't need that, so I'll go ahead and burn that. Yeah, so because this character's resistance base, sturdy is better than luck. And so as we collect luck, so the sturdies, I'll start using the lux. And also, um... Heals are probably better than luck as well because of dull pain. Couldn't use that. They shouldn't hit me now. Ugh. I can't hit them either. There we go. We should do some good damage now. We're doing plus 50% if we can hit. Gosh, why do I keep missing? What chance do I have? 76% chance and I rolled an 83. It's crazy that I was missing that much on a 73% chance. Okay, we have another recharge enhancer. We're going to want to put that 
on dull pain. We want to get that recharging super fast. So that's something I will buy Dio um, recharge enhancers for. Where's the ambush? That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, this mission seems kind of buggy when I played it on my scrapper. Also, some of the ambushes didn't trigger right. You gonna leave? There we go. There's the ambush, you see. That's incorrect. They should have come after us first. That's kind of weird. Gained half a level in this mission already. Okay. I'll leave that heal because heals are more important to us than Lux. I'd love to have a sturdy actually or two on this character to stack her um, defenses. Right? She's already got 10% resistance, so if you add two sturdies instead of two Lux, now she's at 30% resistance, which is quite nice. Is anybody around here? No. Okay. Alright, so we're going to continue. Through the doorway here. Dull pain is getting close to being able to be activated again. And there's the recruiter. He's the main bad guy, I guess. Let's kick his butt. Ouch. Yeah, um, super strength is weird in that it makes a lot of noise and it sounds like a big hit, but it's not doing any damage. Alright, let's take out these guys before we free the hostages so that we don't have to fight them. And I just over aggroed. So I think it's time to dull pain. So you see, when I was talking about with my scrapper, it almost it never happened with the scrapper, but we've been stunned twice now by riflemen or blasters. These guys do have a small amount of mez, and it will sometimes trigger, and if they hit you with a couple of them in a row, they will stun you, and they can also knock you back or knock you down. Okay, we don't need that. Now, when I get, so I've been talking about stacking, right now when all I have is resistance, I would like Sturdy to stack them. However, um, once I have Invincibility, which gives you defense, then I'm going to want some luck too, because you can stack that. And we may go back to stacking more luck, um, rather than Sturdy, but for right now, where all she has is resistance, my preference would be to stack the Sturdy. Okay, you coming with me? Come here. So you have to leave the last hostage out. And that should be the end of this mission. I guess I'm going to need to create a, a swamp outfit for her too, for going through the sewers. At least she's wearing boots, unlike Silver Phoenix, who was uh, barefoot and walking through this sewage sludge which is pretty gross. And she's also got full gloves. Silver Phoenix's gloves didn't have hands on them. They, this is a proper ambush. Okay. So Silver Phoenix's gloves were... Um, the hands are bare. The feet, her feet are wrapped in cloth, but her feet are basically bare. So having her walk through the sludge is just kind of gross. But Liberty Lass has boots, so... So it's not quite as bad. 
And then when you turn invincibility on, which is a toggle and you can just leave on, then you figure, okay, well, with invincibility on, you know, things can't touch her, basically. She becomes almost like a frictionless surface, and nothing touches her. And so then that makes sense, too, to, like, turn that on and walk through the sewer. All right. So we almost gained an entire level there. We completed this mission, and we'll need to go talk to Vic Johansson. So let's see. Let's target him. And head out. Back the way we came. Just keeping an eye out for red cons, and orange cons, and purples. Look at that, purples, level 8. Level 8. Yeah, so the purple level 8 was a lieutenant. A minion who was level 8 would simply be a, um, a red con like that. Because it's plus 3 levels, but a lieutenant cons is one level higher. So that guy is, and then a level 9 minion is also purple. So you gotta stay away from the purples when you're this level. Now, at high level, the tanker is more proof against purples than anybody else. They can't, you know, they still have tons of defense. It's hard to take them down because you don't do a lot of damage, but you have tons of defense. But at this level, you do not want to tangle with purples as a tanker. You're not any, you have almost no more defenses than a blaster. Okay, we have a new contact. We can either do Ron Hughes who um, works with the Skulls, or Genevieve Sanders, who works with the Circle of Thorns. She's near the hospital. I did her already, so I'm going to do Ron Hughes. And what available missions does he have? Doctors at the Kyron Medical Center want data on the lost, or we get to the King's Row Security Chief. I guess we're going to have to do that one. Defeat 10 lost. And I'm going to have to find some lost over by the... I believe there are some over by the by Blue Steel. It's over there. So if you get kind of like around the back of the um, Freedom Plaza, which is up this way, I think. Trying to get there without um, running into anybody dangerous. Here we go. Now we're okay here. Let's go ahead and take a look at enhancements. We can definitely recharge Dull Pain. All right, so now Dull Pain recharges in five and a half minutes instead of six. Put another recharge enhancer on it. It recharges in five minutes and 11 seconds, which is awesome. You can put accuracy on the punch and resist damage here. So we now resist 10.7% instead of 10%. So these aren't very good. Nothing we could do about that. Right, let's keep going. And so I think around the back here, we sometimes find lost. But these guys might all be like orange and red to me. Like back in here. And there's a little plaque. Um, I've read that already with Silver Phoenix, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, there's some lost. I can do orange and yellow. That's not a problem, and I'm going to level very quickly. So let's go ahead. We have dull paint up. We should be alright. being knocked down. So we're only one bulb now from, I believe, or is it two? No, we're two bulbs from the next level. So it's going to take a little more than these guys to get us up there. Am I stunned? Yep, stunned again. 
Stunned again. You see, I told you these guys have mez. Didn't seem to happen very much on my scrapper, I think because they missed her so much. But they're hitting me a lot. There we go. That's a skull. We're looking for lost. Skull, skull, skull. Skulls. Skulls. Those heroes are fighting those guys. There's a skull. There's a lost. Let's see if we can. Oh, they're fighting these guys too. That's a mastermind. Ninjas. Alright, well. We still need five more. I was doing it on salvage. We got a few. So the way salvage works is just random drops. <clears throat> and white is common, yellow is uncommon, and orange is rare, and the orange ones. Oftentimes you get um, a lot of uh, money for them. A lot of influence. These guys are all skulls, though. Over here, maybe? Skulls, but high level. There's more lost. Oh, these guys are rough. Yeah, that's a little too high of a level for me. Let's see if maybe we can come over here, beat up some white, white cons just to get to level 6, and then I should be able to take some of these other guys. Once we're done with this mission, actually, probably once we're done leveling, I'm gonna level up and then stop because this has been long enough in the episode. Yeah, this is rough to give a level 5 character a mission like this in King's Row. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get killed really fast. Right? The, these guys are alright. But oranges and yellows are tough at this level, especially if you're a new player and you don't know what you're doing. Good. They're freaking away at me, and I have resistance to them too. There's a sturdy, that's what I like to see. And now we've leveled up. So now we can head back. And there's some lost, and now they're even leveled to me. So let's go ahead and take them out. Got our buffs, so they're gonna go down really fast. We only need to defeat one more after this. Okay. Now I grabbed that mostly because I don't need an accuracy right now. Alright, let's head to the trainer. And then I'm gonna stop. We have two more lost to defeat, but that's alright. We can do that next time. So this guy, <clears throat> Blue Steel, is the trainer for uh, this zone, and we can train up to the next level. So now we have a new power to take. So I can take Resist Elements, which is quite tempting, 
because that would give me some resistance to fire, cold, and toxic against the Vajalog. We could take Haymaker. Temporary Invulnerability is very tempting because it's a really resistant to smashing and lethal damage. It's quite good. But I think for now we're going to go into the flight and take fly. So now we have our movement power, which I'm going to put, I guess, over there. Now let's put it. Let's put this here. Put Sprint over there. So now we can fly. Which is quite nice. And then if I want to go looking for skulls or hellions or whatever, I can do it from the safety of the sky. And then just land when I want to fight somebody. Which is quite nice and useful for a low-level character. Right? <coughs> And there's some lost. We've got to defeat two more. Let's just go ahead and finish them up. Since these are blue cons, it won't be hard. So that ninja master must have taken out the orange cons that were over here. So we got our clue. <clears throat> it's like, yeah, you guys are fifth level. Where were you when I was fifth level? Instead, it was like level sixes over here. All right, so we've completed our mission. We can call Vic Johnson, and he says thanks, and he's got available missions, and one is to um, talk to the King's Row security chief or get to King's Row and stop the lost rampage. So this is all just, just these are just junk missions right now. Um, he does eventually give you a story arc, I believe. Are you shooting at me? Just get out of the way. I think he gives us, got me the Superdine Ring story arc, maybe, maybe not. Um, <clears throat> but we also have Ron Hughes in here. We have Detective Bectrice, which who I think we're going to try next time. But for now, I'm just going to head over to the safety of this zone. And we'll stop. And I hope you've enjoyed Liberty Lass. See you next time.